There's a lot of games that have tried copying Minecraft, and most are really bad. So I scoured the internet looking for as many as I could find. I'm gonna start with the worst ones and move up to the best. Could any of these ripoffs potentially compete with Minecraft? Let's see. So this first game just said, let's take Minecraft and Fortnite, and boom. So to start out, we have to enter our username, and then we get to choose our character. You can be anything from Aladdin to Batman to Jesus. I'm just gonna go with this one. This has a lot of similarities to Minecraft, but the one difference is that in our other hand, we have a gun. Now, as you see, there's a person right here. Because there's no sound in the game, he has no clue that I'm about to shoot him. There's really nothing else to say about this game besides the fact that you can throw blocks. But this game is definitely not competing with Minecraft. Let's move on. This next game is called Parta Cubes. Just like in Minecraft, you can create your own world in this game, but the only way to change the world is by using code. That means there's no breaking blocks, no building, there's absolutely nothing without code. So if we go in here, we can change simple things about the game. Game, such as our jump velocity. So now we jump a hundred times higher than we were jumping before. But because I have no clue how to code, this was the only thing I could do. So to make things more interesting, I asked my coder friend to make me a map and here's what he created. Okay, so it seems the first thing he changed was he put us in first person. I think he accidentally made an upside down pickaxe. That's pretty embarrassing. But the good news is it still works and now we can actually break blocks. And if we right click, we can also build. But that's pretty much it. I do have to say though the pickaxe looks pretty sus when you're breaking things this next game we're playing is called block warriors and it's definitely a step up from the last and this is also the first game that actually costs money so as you can tell in this game we look just like a minecraft character a little bit more animated though and we are strapped so as we walk outside you will notice there are people just holding guns and there's also a storyline brian wants me to robe a store but instead of actually robing the store like he wants me to i'm just gonna take the car he gave me and go run people over. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a mini map telling me where to go in the bottom right, but as you can tell, the developers, they just forgot to add it. I do have to say though, the graphics in this game are a whole lot better than the first two games that we have played, and this game actually has sound. Alright, well, now we can't even run people over because I flipped the car now we're dead. Let's move on to the next game. Alright, so with this game, the first thing you'll notice is our character. And the only way to customize this character is by using real money to purchase in-game items. Yeah, I don't care what you guys think. This was definitely worth the $20. This one looks more like Minecraft than any of the previous. And instead of mining the blocks, you do this. It's actually pretty satisfying. But what's even more satisfying is when you place the block down. I mean, just look at that. For some reason, I'm having way more fun murdering these mobs than in Minecraft. And the swim Swimming animation isn't half bad either. I just love how in this game, you don't need a pickaxe at all. Your hand does everything. All right, I've crafted torches and now let's explore this cave. Okay, yeah, there's definitely mobs down here. I need more light, dude. What is that? Oh, holy crap. Can I kill it? No, it's gonna kill me. It literally has one eye. What is this mob? Okay, and on that note, I think we've tried this game out enough. All right, so this next game, just like the last, is starting to look more and more like Minecraft. Hopefully, it's a little bit decent because this game costed $15. This reminds me of my realistic video. I mean, look at that. Okay, I do not like the swimming in this game. What is this? I think our health and saturation is to the bottom left, but it looks really futuristic and really weird. No way. The world is literally a cube. Okay, I found a mob. What is that thing? Oh my gosh, what is this mob? It's like a freaking wooden log. When we jump from this side to this side, everything thing gets really dark. This game's been pretty interesting. It's probably about time to move to the next now. Right, so we're really stepping things up now because this next game costed $20. All right, so obviously this game is cube light like Minecraft, but the textures are a little bit less defined. And so far, I think this is the best game that we've played. Like, look, there's a freaking toilet and a faucet. Apparently there's like some kind of storyline here. But again, I don't want to follow the storyline, so I'm just going to move on. There's like a whole town over here. Oh my God. I can go in like third person. Look at us, dude. We look sick. Oh, okay. Instead of actually having to craft things, this person just gave us tools. So now let's just till this person's land because they gave us free stuff. Can we attack people? I, I really want to attack this person. Honestly, why does the game allow me to do this? Like, what even is this? Did Oscar come to clean up my mess? Oscar is kind of a cool dude. He just doesn't care. But yeah, so far, this game is probably the most visually appealing and probably the best developed game that we've played so far. So now let's move on and see if we can top this. Minecraft ripoff. Okay, so I just had to show off this next game because
because it looks like Minecraft if it was realistic. Look at this. It looks like it's almost cubed, but then it isn't. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am definitely lagging. The one thing that I don't like is the sound we make when we're walking. Oh my, that is horrible. I mean, besides that, the world actually looks pretty nice, but everything else is uh not so great. I think we can find a better game. And this next Minecraft ripoff is in VR. All right, I'm in the home screen right now. Kind of looking sick, not gonna lie. Okay, oh my gosh, we are in and I'm already super impressed. And look, there's a freaking bunny right there. Look at the terrain over there. It's so freaking beautiful. It almost feels like I can really touch grass. I mean, if you really think about it, I kind of am touching grass right now. Oh my gosh, there's a deer right there. What the frick? Come here, buddy. Oh, can I pet you? Do you like the pet? Do you like the pet? I mean, even though my hands pass right through you, I can still feel you, buddy. I can still feel you. Oh, we have an inventory. Oh, okay. We got the stick, boys. I'm beating the tree. Oh. Yo, this looks just like a birch log in Minecraft. The night looks so pretty. And out of every Minecraft ripoff I found, this one was the best. But maybe it's not about being the best. Maybe it's about the games that we played along the way.